Hey guys, um, I hope you're having a great day. We are um, in sunny 65 degrees New Hampshire weather today. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that how to put like a more exciting signature on your mug. So I made these mugs with brown speckled clay and then I added um, the Elon transfer uh, lace design on it. So now what I did was I put wax resist on the bottoms. I let the wax resist dry and then I carved my name with this L1 diamond core tool. It's like a pencil kind of, it has a really sharp end and then it has like a, like a softer end for a smoother signature. So um, I signed my name and then added some white velvet underglaze by Amico. Um, it's uh, what is this? V360 Amico. And then I, you know, put it on the piece and then wiped it back. So I'm just going to finish this last mug here by adding 2022. Um, just to, I like to do that. You don't have to, but I don't know. You know, it just gives it a little more something. For me, I do need to make a maker's mark as well, but this is kind of fun. I think um, uh, this is fun because you can do all kinds of designs, like with the wax resist and then carving into it and then putting the underglaze on. So watch, right? So now the white's going to go into the carving and the wax resist is going to prevent it from going all over the piece. And then I can just take a sponge and give it a little soft and gentle wipe back. So the white stays in the impression that I made with my diamond core pencil thingy. <laughs> um, so there you go. So I just like it. Um, when it's fired, it looks like this. So here's a mug that I did, which I love. It has a lot of cool drippies. Um, but, you know, it just gives it a little pop, you know. So I just wanted to show you another way to sign your bottoms. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.